Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving an Absolute Value Inequality, Problem Type 2. We're asked to solve and we're also given two additional possibilities that the solution could be all reals or the solution could be no solution. And when we start solving, once we have the absolute value by itself, if that absolute value is less than a negative, that would mean that the absolute value is negative in order to be less than a negative, that's no solution because the absolute value is always positive. Another possibility is that we could have the absolute value greater than a negative. And again, since absolute values are always positive, it's always going to be greater than a negative. So that would be all reals. The two other possibilities are that the absolute value could be less than a positive number. This would be an and situation where we would need both solutions to be true at the same time. So we would be looking for where the solutions overlap. And lastly, we could have the absolute value greater than a positive. This would be an or solution, meaning that either of our two solutions would be satisfactory. For this example, we have the absolute value of y plus 22 is less than 15. To start solving, we would want to get the absolute value by itself by subtracting the 22 over to the other side that would cancel on the left hand side leaving just the absolute value of y is less than negative 7. Looking back at the top here we see that we have the absolute value less than a negative and that would be no solution. So in this case we don't need to continue we can stop here and just indicate that there's no solution.